Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Rift Guys Wild Rift video. The arena mode has launched, and well, what champions are broken, which champions are terrible, and how the hell do you even play this? To answer all of your questions, we obviously played the mode for you and found out the best champions for every single class in the game, and we made a tier list just for you so you can understand which champion to pick and why you pick them. Sadly though, we don't have any access to all the augments, so we don't know every single augment in the game, so we can't really make a tier list about the augments, nor can we show you all of them in a list. But now, let's start with the tier list. Here we start with the Assassins, and in the S tier we have Kassadin and Kha'Zix. Kassadin is a very brutally scaling champion that is in most games very consistently powerful. Kha'Zix as well. However, there's one thing with Kha'Zix you have to keep in mind. Most of the time you will not go for your first abilities evolve, you will go for your second abilities evolve first. And you will run Bloodthirst as your first item. Champions like Evelyn, Akali and Rengar are less consistent, but there are a few things you can do with for example Rengar that makes life a lot easier. Just making sure that you become a tank killer, you need Divine Sundra. In this game mode, health is everything. And you will see that champions that can reliably stack health as well as abuse Divine Sundra and tanky stats are far higher than any other champion. So it's not really a surprise that Lee Sin, Fizz, Yasu, Yone, Zed, and Diana are far lower than all the other choices, and Pike, Pantheon, Katarina, Echo, Akshon, and Ari are borderline useless in this mode. Needlessly to say though, with the right augments, even one of the weakest champions can be very good. But in most instances, since bruises and tanks are played so heavily, since they're so broken, those other champions that only have burst damage without any other form of extra damage will just do nothing. Evelyn, for example, is a solid A tier because she features both burst damage and DPS thanks to her first ability. And well, her fully empowered third ability deals quite a lot of burst damage and if you get the 30% magic pen augment, you will see what this champion can do to you. Hey you, yes you, can you see this? So many people are not yet Ooh, sub, be honest, kind of small. what's stopping you from subbing? Let me know in the Yikes. comments below. With the assassin wrapped up, let's talk about the fighters. And here we have Fiora and Shivana in the best and highest tier. Fiora is kind of self-explanatory with her true damage on vitals. Shivana, on the other hand, is a tricky one. Shivana in this mode also gains her stacks via rounds. Every round that passes grants her a few stacks and obviously champion kills as well. She also has the ability to itemize fully defensive with Divine Sundra and just tanky stats and just kills tanks later on without any problem. Basically, a tank killing demon. Champions in the A tier like Aatrox, Darius, Hecarim, Jax, Kane, Riven, Sedvai, and Camille are just substantially weaker than the choices in the S tier. But for example, a set getting the HP augment will allow him to literally one-tap most of the enemy's champions unless they're a bruiser themselves. Champions in the B tier like Master Yi, Aurelia, Javan, Olaf, Renekton, Trindima, Urgot, Wukong, and Jin Zhao just don't bring anything to the table compared to the other champions. With the exception of Olaf, all of these champions kind of suck into like brutal tanks. Maybe Masi can be the exception, but again, he needs certain augments to be fully functional. And champions such as Graves, Jace, Kale, and Nasus, or Nasus in the C tier just really don't do anything. For a Kale to be very good, you need the early augment that grants you one extra level per round. And then even with that, it is kind of a hassle, but it's literally one of the best augments you can get and rolling it in a first round is basically a guaranteed second, if not first, if no one on the enemy team has this augment. Now let's briefly talk about mages. Gragas and Swain are in the S tier like the absolute kinks they are. Gragas can get ability haste on mobility spells such as his third ability and therefore constantly bump into you. On League PC, they call him the Impregnator Gragas. So whenever this champion gets the augment with ability haste, he basically just bumps into you on cooldown and you can barely move. Swain on the other hand can already stack his passive in the arena early on. He can just be in the practice area and he can spam his second ability and third ability to gain free stacks. Another neat augment for this champion is the Vega passive, Phenomenal Evil. This allows him to get infinite amounts of ability power which then translate into super high damage values on his Leandre's Torment. A champion which I'm not so sure about is Brand. He is very decent into most Bruiser champions simply for his high damage values, but if he is in a lobby where he is the only AP threat, then the enemy will probably lose against him until the very later stages of the game, 
but then the moment they can just swap out their items because they're only facing brand or only brand is an issue, they just go for MR items and then brand is in a little bit of a pickle. The same could also be said about Vladimir, but with Vladimir all you need is Ability Ace and then you're kind of unkillable. But to be fair, if you meet any of the higher tier fighter champions as a Vladimir, well you probably just lose because they just do way more damage than you can ever do. Champions in the B tier like Gwen, Fiddlesix, Karma, Cannon, Ludo, Orianna, Baiga and Yumi, well you don't really want to pick them. Gwen is fun, but she loses into most champions because well, she just dies too fast, unironically. She needs the level augment very much. Fiddlesticks just doesn't do enough damage, but depending on the augments he gets, he is kind of okay. Karma is just annoying, she constantly runs away and pisses you off. Cannon, well, doesn't do too much damage, is just annoying. But yeah, it's a solid B. Orianna and Lulu and Vyga all need the level augment and in this mode you cannot really go Ludens as your first item. Most of these mages have to go for Rod of Ages simply because they need the HP to survive. And in the early rounds, most of the time you'll also start loose streaking, so your game is going to be rather hard. Yumi on the other hand, well, she's just an annoying accessoire and you know how Yumi players are, if you have a high tier fighter champion or a high tier mage like Swain and Gruggers, Yumi can just attach herself to them and then you have a late game security that is out of this world. Now if we take a look at the C tier champions like Lilia, Annie, Aurelian Soul, Galio, Janna, Lux, Morgana, Nami, Seraphine, Teemo, Twisted Fate, Vex, Zix, Zoe, Sona and Soraka, the only champion here that is viable once you get certain upgrades is Twisted Fate. All the other champions, without maybe the exception of Lilia, are borderline useless in this mode, so really stay away from them. Now we move over to the marksman, and there's one big problem about marksman in this mode. You don't have access to runes, which means your role is heavily nerfed. Runes were such a brutal and OP addition for AD carries that the moment you just lack them in this mode, you just realize how weak AD carries could be without just having runes. But there are a few champions that literally defy this kind of power dynamic. One of these champions is Nyla. Nyla is an absolute tank killer and she doesn't really care about anything. And if you even get lucky and get a certain augment, well, then the life is just over. You can get an augment that heals you for your crits, you can get an even more pen, you have all these options. But the best part about Nyla isn't only her damage, it's her second ability. Taking 25% less magical damage on you and your ally, as well as dodging auto attacks, is very powerful. With this, you can basically avoid most one shots from certain bruiser or mage champions on you and your ally, and therefore guarantee yourself at least some scaling time. And in the later stages of the game, gaining 1.5 seconds or 2.5 seconds of less magic damage or avoiding auto attacks is really broken. Kaisa is in the 80 here and the reason is the following. You have access to multiple builds and it's kind of a nice duelist champion. Way better than Vayne could ever be, well in this mode as well. In the B tier we have Varus, Zarya, Samir, Twitch and Zeri. Varus is just too immobile and gets ran down. Zaya is quite cool, but she really struggles killing those chunky tanks. Samira is a heavy snowballer, which you should only pick if you have full CC on your team. Basically an Alistar, Eleona, anything along those lines. Twitch is a hyperscaler that once you get into the late game, literally obliterates you. Especially if you get the Rage Augment. Zeri on the other hand needs a few Augments to be functional, but she can run away quite well, but if she doesn't get these Augments, she really doesn't do any damage. And all champions in the C tier like Vayne, Jin, Misfortune, Ash, Caitlyn, Corky, Draven, Ezreal, Jinx, Lucian, Senna, Tristana and Senna, well, you better stay away from these champions because they lack damage, they lack consistency and they simply cannot really deal with all of these other meta champions in the arena mode. Now let's talk about the most broken class for the arena mode and here we have tanks. For the S tier we have Dr. Mundo, Alistar and Orn. These three champions are absolutely brutal. Dr. Mundo just never dies, has percentage damage and completely heals up 24-7 without any problem while having 50 billion AD. Alistair can go full AP, can go full tank and you basically can't win against this champion. He can knock you out of bounds on cooldown, CC you for 50 hours, deal 90 billion damage, it's an absolute demon. Orn is basically the same but less oppressive compared to the other two, but still, you don't kill this champion, you can also get quite the interesting augments and then you have a big problem. 
for the A tier, we have Garen, Sign, Volibat, Nunu, Leona, Nautilus, and Shen. Shen is probably one of the weakest here, even though he has percentage damage on his first ability, and Nautilus could potentially be bumped up into the S tier. Garen is just very solid and doesn't die, deals high Joe damage and is pretty nice. Sign scales up brutally and doesn't die. Volibear never dies. Nunu has an interesting AP and tank approach where he just chomps you for like 24 billion billion HP and is basically chilling. Champions in the B tier like Warwick, Singe, Blitzcrank, Braum and Ramus don't do anything. Braum is basically just annoying. Ramus isn't really good here because AD carries aren't good. Singe needs 15 different augments to be functional. Warwick is kind of okay but still just gets killed because his base stats aren't good enough. And for the C tier, we have Rakan and Fresh. With tanks being so good, Rakan doesn't really serve a purpose. He can't assassinate anyone, he can't out sustain anyone, and he basically just doesn't deal damage to the people. Fresh also doesn't really do enough damage, and that's kind of the weird thing to say. Fresh really struggles killing any of these Chonka champions, and he might get away with it early game, but the moment we hit mid or late game in arena, he basically is completely worthless. And with that, we're at the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If I missed any champion let me know in the comments below let me know your thoughts about arena generally in the comments below and basically as a small summary go for s tier champions and then for a tier champions stay away from b and c tier champions and if you really want to increase the win rates in the arena mode you have to buy the arena pass getting up to three or six rerolls or extra rolls per game is kind of massive when it comes to just drafting the best possible combos so thank you all for watching and if you like the video you know what to do and see you next video.